Well, what was old is new again in Norwood. Volunteers spent the day giving the middle and high schools a much needed facelift. Not on your side, reporter Michaelia White was just at the, vet, the event, I should say, and she joins us live from the newsroom with one volunteer's unique story. Michaelia? That's right, Bryce. Close to 200 volunteers of all ages pitched in to help out today, including one first timer who says the experience is something he'll never forget. Raymond Woods has only lived in Cincinnati for a few months, but he thought now would be the perfect time to get involved. I wanted an opportunity to get plugged into the community. Woods joined Give Back Cincinnati when he moved here from Atlanta for work. Now he's doing his first project with the nonprofit group, joining hundreds of others in an effort to renovate the schools for students. Well, I've been doing a lot of painting. Uh, we've been painting in classrooms as well, um, painting in the hallway as well, so a lot of taping. <laughs> Volunteers like Woods are something Norwood school officials say they are grateful for, especially since the facility was overdue for cleanup. The idea that the community is willing to give back to us is really important. We're already known as a 100 best community for children to learn. So the idea that Give Back Cincinnati would help us to beautify our building is really special. Volunteers painted the stairs, hallways, and classrooms nearly five hours until the school looked years younger. It's amazing to see how uh, different people from different experiences, different walks of life, and different areas within um, Ohio get together to give back to the community. Um, it's something that I would like to do on a continual basis, and it's something I'm really looking forward to. And if you'd like to get involved, Give Back Cincinnati says now is the time. They're always looking for new volunteers. We have a link posted for you on WCPO.com with all the information you'll need, Bryce. All right, thanks, Michaelia. Well, 